Good day, Sacramento City College. I am Nam Win, and we are all celebrating a very momentous occasion. It's 100 years. Now, Sac City College has been doing a lot of stuff all year. And one of the things they've been doing, they've been opening up time capsules. I wanted to reference this. We talked about it earlier. But all along this strip right here uh, is the year uh, of each graduating class. And underneath each of these is a time capsule. And there have also been ones that have been placed uh, all across the campus. So far, they've opened a total of uh, about three. The original one, the OG time capsule, uh, that actually was taken and then moved right here. You see the little uh, placard that they moved right here that when they opened that. The contents, we are still trying to figure out exactly what happened to that, but they've opened two more this year as well. So we have a historian, that's what uh, we're calling you now, but you okay. are also a staff yeah, uh, retired, retired. Yeah. yes. Yeah, from student services. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the whole idea of doing the time capsules, how this all started. Well, back in 1927, they started putting in a time capsule for every class that graduated from the college. And right up till today, we have one. Um, for each class, and they're in the pavement, as you notice, going out to Freeport Boulevard. Um, we'll start opening those in 2027. But the time capsule that we have here was uh, from the Learning Resource Center, and it was uh, dedicated on October 8th, and 1998. And the time capsule was placed at that time. We had a big ceremony here with hundreds of chairs and about a thousand people and dignitaries, and they had a ribbon ribbon cutting and so forth, but it was a good a good event and the time capsule went in at that point. And in the time capsule are things that were gathered by the library staff and uh, include things like a, a floppy disk that's about, I don't know, nine inches, oh, wow. an enormous floppy disk, uh, antique at the time, but uh, it had been important in the library in the, in the process. But we're, it's a beautiful building and we were so glad to to be able to get it on our campus. I love it. So speaking of which, we were trying to talk about, well, he mentioned the ones that we saw heading out to Freeport, we opened them at the 100-year mark. So that's how we're saying in 27, yeah. we'll be opening the first one. But these other ones that we've opened have specific directions, which is what you'll see right here. So this plaque tells us when we were supposed to open this. And so explain to people, because we were joking about this. It says to open in 2016, the centennial year, and we're technically in 2017, yeah. but... The centennial year is actually the school year, so it's really 2016-17, the school year. And so this is the last event for our 100th anniversary celebration. And we've already opened two other time capsules. So this is the last one, and it'll be open noon on the day of the car show. Yes. So that's Saturday. And if you want to talk to Dan about that, he can give you more details about the car show. Yes, we are going to go into specifics all about this in our next segment. But yes, this is all a part of the bigger event that's happening, the 100th centennial event. But before we go, they promised us a peek, right? So you want to give us the peek? Here we go. <laughs> There's your oh. peak. Now, if you want to know exactly what's inside of this, though, you have to wait till Saturday. You have to come on down. It's a free event, and they have the whole list, and they'll show everybody what's inside of here. But there's your peak exclusively here on Good Day. Oh, <laughs> we'll send yeah. it back to you guys. Love that. We always wish we had done that here when we started Good Day in 1995, and we just yeah, didn't so think crazy. of it. Yeah, that would be fun. Thank you, Nan. Well, don't let finals week uh, stress you out.